Hey, what's cracking with it? Your boy Savage, aka Seth Cisnettos. You tune in, in the Sev Lokes Hotels. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Let's get to the politics. Big shout out to everybody showing the channel love. Appreciate the love and support. Um, so I want to make this clear. This is for my Denver original homies. Um, I've been seeing a lot in comment sections and this and that. When fools talk about Denver, you know, they giving too much credit for the gangbanging aspect from different cities and states and basically acting like um, Denver before the Crips and Bloods and everything from Cali came, you know, this way that Denver was never gangbanging. Bro, there was always original Denver hoods in Denver, Colorado. And I did a video on this on my other channel, um, but we had original hoods out here that represented their, their neighborhoods, bro, from the east to the west to the north to the south. And they were representing before Bloods and Crips and Northsides and GDs, Vice Lords, Four Corner Hustlers and, you know, Latin Disciples and all these, you know, gangs that, you know, everybody sees now. There was already original hoods out here banging, banging. You know what I'm saying? Let's start off, you know, with uh, my east side homies. You know what I'm saying? From East Denver, you had Brick City Fools way before Crippin. You had, you know what I'm saying, Curtis Park boys, the old school East Siders. You had ESGs, the Deuce Five Raiders. You had Horseman Fools from the East Side. You had villains. You had Swamp the Chickies. You had, you know what I'm saying, fools that were representing before Crips and Bloods. They just represented the East Side, the ODs. You know what I'm saying? You had Trey Deuce Posse Fools. You had, you know, um, original hoods from east denver bro and then bloods and crips hit and you know they got a big wave but there was already game banging in the east side you know park hill b-o-y-z's you know you had hoods all over bruh let's go to the west side you had ak's and you had buyer's hood you had you know ak west side ak's and you had the lapan boys that split up into the g's and inca boys they all represented the west side Westside clicks, the PDKs, you know what I'm saying? Like, these fools were banging way before the Bloods and Crips. Shout out to my Westside homies. Um, then you had, you know, on the north side, you had the Hitman. You had the Warlords. You had um, VGVs and Quinta Lomas. You had the Mafias, Criminals, you know, um, you know, what, 30, what was them special stills or special, 38 specials? You had original hoods banging the north. Southside Westwood hoods. Southside still. Southside homies. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was already gang banging out here in Colorado. And a lot more clicks. A lot more hoods. Bloods and Crips didn't bring gang banging out here. Because gang banging was always a thing. They just brought the Bloods, Crips wave. You know, Northside and uh, North Daniels came out here to Colorado to different cities. Sudanios. But we already had our original hoods out here. You know, ESGs, man. Um, you know, and then the original Crips and all them came out here and the and Foos Bang and Crip out here, you know, from East Denver and the Bloods from Park Hill and all that. But, you know, we, we was representing neighborhoods already, bruh. Cali, none of them other cities and states brought gangbanging to Denver. There was already gangbanging out here, you know. Um, so I just wanted to make that clear that Denver already had original hoods, you know. So all the fools coming on these comment section talking about they gave us our gang banging. Get out of here, bro. Now, Bloods and Crips, you know, they, they were a big influence. But even the Bloods and Crips out here, there's original blood hoods that represent Denver, not California. They represent the blocks out here. There's origin, original Crip hoods out here that represent the Denver blocks out here that do whatever they want. They push their line, bro. They push their program. And ain't nobody telling them to stop. Ain't nobody can stop it. So, man, get over yourself, man. That's what I got to say. Your boy Savage. Let's go. You know what it is.